my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. So we're now back at the computer and we're going to do our text so that we can put that on our machine. Uh, so I've already uh, chosen my font and I've moved my letters so they're all attached and then I've gone ahead and welded them. So the next thing I need to do is, as you know, we can either print out uh, 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches or we can do 11 and a half by 23 and a half if you've got a 24 inch mat uh, so we're gonna just do 11 and a half width today uh, but we're gonna do 11 just to give it a little bit of room so then we're gonna go to make it and I did say that we were going to do it in uh, glitter but actually I've got some of the Cricut um, holographic vinyl so I'm going to give uh, do it in that I think because it's a really beautiful it's the blue it's meant to be blue but when you look at it it's all kind of greenies blues pinkies a bit of yellow in there so I think that'll look really nice on the machine so we're going to go ahead and press continue so we've got our, our dial set to custom, so we're going to go to view all and we're just going to go down to vinyl and we're going to go for holographic vinyl and press done and then we're going to go and send that to the mat. So we've now cut out our text, so we're going to go ahead and start weeding. Um, and the holographic is very much like the foil. It just comes off so beautifully. There's just no effort required there. Okay, she says, maybe a little bit of effort, but um, it pretty much just comes off super, super beautifully. Look at that, just peeling away. And this is what I like. I like it when not, the letters don't lift off. That can be really tiresome. I love weeding. I think it's such a therapeutic thing to do. But sometimes it can be a bit of a nightmare. So we're just going to go in and we're going to take out these inner bits. So I'm just going to go ahead and do those. So we've now completely weeded, so I've got our transfer tape here. So we're just going to go ahead and put that on. And then we're just going to put it back on our backing paper, just so it doesn't stick down to the, the mat really. And as always, I'm going to start at the front. and just give it a really good scraping and I don't know if you can see but in the light I can see how all the colours kind of reflect the light and they change it's really really a beautiful holographic vinyl uh, and this is the Cricut holographic vinyl um, and you can get that from uk.cricut.com so then I'm going to move on to the back uh, and I always scrape the back as well. Um, I just find it really does make a difference. So we're going to see if that's ready. So we're going to start slowly peeling it back. And I like to keep it as close to the paper as I can and I just kind of wiggle it back. Sometimes it will come really easy and other times you kind of have to play with it. But as I've said before, if it does, like, see there, it's lifting. And you can just kind of scoop it down with your fingernail. But I always like to go back in and just give it an extra scrape. Okay. 
There we go. So that's coming off relatively easy. Or should I say it's staying on relatively easy. And last little bit. Perfect. So there we go, we've now transferred that onto our transfer tape. You can see it kind of glistening a little bit. So we're gonna go and put that on the machine now. So we're just gonna come and place it on the machine. So I'm just gonna do it by eye, but you can do it, you know, you can measure out and, and do all of that, but I'm just gonna do it by the naked eye. And I'm just going to smooth it down. Then I'm going to go in with my squidger and I'm just going to very gently, because it's on the machine, and we obviously don't want to damage the machine in any way. And then we're just going to take a corner and we're very, very gently just going to start peeling. And I always kind of give it like a bit of a rocking motion. I don't know why, I just find that works for me. And we're just very slowly bringing it back. So there we go, we've now redecorated the machine. Uh, so we've got our holographic uh, vinyl that we've put on the top. So we've got both of those that we've done and then we've got our writing as well. So hopefully that's kind of given you some ideas of what you can do to decorate your machine uh, and it's helped you a little bit out with um, how you use your transfer tape and then you're going to transfer onto your item. So as always thank you so so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe and follow and I'll see you all again soon. Bye! Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Please do subscribe, like and comment below. Bye.